Hello and welcome to LearnPythonTutorial.com's uh, install Python 3 on the um, Mac operating system. And today that is our main focus. But before we get into that, I want to show you how to uh, check to see if you have Python 2 on your computer. It's not required, but it should be installed there. Um, and I'm also, and it's also a good practice to learn how to access Python 2, and it's going to be almost the same process to access Python 3. So to do this, let's go ahead and open our terminal, and there's several ways to do this. My preferred method is command spacebar to bring up Spotlight, and I already typed in there, but you go ahead and type terminal, and hit return. There is our terminal. Yours may look a little different. Uh, I might have styled mine. I don't remember. Um... I know on my other Mac I did. So um, yours may look a little different, but if you see this box with uh, some information here, you're good to go. There's two other ways to open up Terminal. Another way to open Spotlight is the magnifying glass at the top right hand corner of your screen. And we can type Terminal in there and hit Return, and that comes up. Or we can do the hard way. Go to Finder, to Applications to utilities to terminal and there's our terminal alright awesome now we know how to open our terminal let's go ahead and access Python 2 to do this we're going to type Python pretty simple right hit return this brings up the Python 2 interpreter as you can see it says right here Python 2.7.6 that's Python 2 this is the default installation on your Mac uh, some of the Mac software and applications use the Python, so don't don't remove this from your computer. You know, you might say, "Oh, we're using Python 3. I don't need Python 2." Do not remove Python 2. Trust me. Um, all right, so cool. We we saw how you bring up the Python interpreter. We saw that Python's installed on our Mac. Now, how do we get out of the interpreter? <coughs> Sorry. If we hit return, we're just going to be in the interpreter. Does us no good. There's three ways to get out of the interpreter. First one is type exit with parentheses, hit return, and that gets us out. Let me go back in and show you another way. We can type quit with parentheses, that gets us out. And the last way that I prefer, because I'm lazy and I like to be quick, hit control D, and that will exit you out of the interpreter. All right, awesome. We have now seen how to bring up the terminal, how to access Python 2, and how to get out of the Python 2 interpreter. Now let's go ahead and install Python 3. Um, to install Python 3, go over to python.org. This is the main website for the Python programming language. We're going to hover over downloads in the main menu here. Hover over it. And we're going to click on the Python 3.4.2 button. If it's Python 3.4.5, that's all right. As long as it's Python 3, we're downloading. You're good to go. Um, they do update it occasionally, so it might be a little different you know from what I'm doing right here so let's go ahead and click on Python alright so we clicked on the download button um, if you're on Google Chrome you're gonna see the download box down here on the left hand side if you're using any other uh, web browsers that that's cool but let's go ahead and open it so bring up your finder and we're gonna go to downloads and you'll see Python 3.4.2 um, 10.6 don't worry about the 4 here uh, I had to do this video a couple times because uh, people keep interrupting me and so I constantly download it so don't worry about that you shouldn't have a number unless you download it beforehand so let's go ahead and open that I just click on that double click on that and on, on the Mac off the screen here on your dock you'll see installer pop up so you just click on installer and it will bring up a window here and we're going to see the introduction. This is very straightforward to install it here. We're going to go, you can read this information if you want, but I'm just going to hit continue. You can read the important information if you like, but I'm going to hit continue. Um, you can read the license information if you like. I'm going to hit continue. Uh, the agree button shows up. I'm going to hit agree. And I want this to install on my hard drive. Um, do not change the inst installation uh, location unless you know what you're absolutely doing.
And then we're going to go ahead and click install. And your um, password to install the software comes up. This is, you know, default when you install software on Mac. So go ahead and type in your password and hit return and it will start installing it. And it takes a couple seconds to install. After we install it, we're going to go ahead and run the Python 3 interpreter to make sure it installed properly. So uh, just one more moment here and it will be installed. I'm actually going to pause the video. And uh, we're back. Um, I paused the video for a couple seconds because I didn't want to waste time. Um, so anyway, mine installed. It took about a minute. And it might take yours a little more or a little less time to install, but it installed. When you see the screen check and the installation was successful, that's great. So let's go ahead and close that. Now we want to check to make sure Python 3 installed. To do this, we're going to use, we're going to bring up the Python 3 interpreter. So first we got to open our terminal again. So I'm going to use command spacebar. And I'm going to type in terminal and hit return. And once the terminal fires up, there we go. And now I am going to type in Python 3. Uh, with Python, before we did Python, that brought up Python 2. And now I type in Python 3. That's going to bring up um, the Python 3 interpreter. So go ahead and re hit return. And now we see Python 3.4.2 right up in here. That is our Python interpreter. And we successfully installed the Python 3 software. Now, if you didn't get the Python 3.4.2 come up or uh, Python 3, whatever numbers after that, similar, um, please check to make sure you typed in Python 3 here. And if you did type in Python 3 here, um, try to install the software again. If that didn't, doesn't help, leave us a message either on our YouTube page or on our website, and we'll try to help you. Um, but now you have Python 3 installed, we can move on. So uh, right before we end this video, let's just go ahead and exit out of the Python 3 interpreter. It's the same as Python 2. To do that, we do either exit, parentheses, and hit return, quit, parentheses, hit return or the lazy way like I like to do it is control D. All right, awesome. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll be back with another tutorial tomorrow and uh, we'll keep on moving in Python. Have a nice day.